All right, so what we're going to show you here is how to uh, unclog and or replace an irrigation head here like this. This is a uh, four-inch pop-up sprinkler, as you can tell. It's uh, kind of buried in some dirt. It um, needs to be raised up a little bit, but probably the reason why it got clogged is because it's in this dirt area trying to grow some grass. And as you can see, the irrigation uh, is on and it's barely trickling out. So we're going to show you how to, uh, number one, take off the irrigation head, lift it up a little bit, potentially... You can clean these things out. If not, just go ahead and replace them. It only costs like two dollars at your local home improvement store. But um, here we go. All right. So back to this irrigation head that was barely trickling water. We dug it out. As you can see, we've pulled it completely up and out. Uh, just use a standard little shovel here. Um, we've marked it with a flag. A couple little hints. Uh, we've got this cup of water here, which we're going to stick the nozzle in and, and uh, clean it out. But the first thing you can do. At this stage, if you want to make it easier on yourself, you can literally just unscrew the entire thing and just take it off. Just be very careful that when this releases, you don't get a bunch of dirt clogged in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift this knob. We're going to clean it off a little bit. This is just a little trick. It's easier to do this stuff when there's not tons of mud and dirt all over it. You got it nice and clean. We're going to lift this up. All you do is literally pull it up with your finger. And we're going to unscrew it, and then we're going to wash that off in there and see if that helps. All right, so what we've done here is we're holding the actual shaft of the irrigation head in, in our, two, our thumb and our forefinger. This is the actual nozzle. Um, what you want to look at first is you want to see um, if there's anything clogged underneath it. And then the other thing you want to look at is you really want to look at where the, the water actually comes out. What I mean by that is, when you look at these nozzles, see all those dash marks? That's your spray pattern, and if you flip it up, you'll see all this, this slit right here. You want to make sure that there's nothing clogging that, debris, rocks, anything like that. Stick it in your water, swish it around a little bit, clean it off, shake it off, and just look under. So right now, that, that main port right here is not clogged. If I look in here, there's actually a little, you probably can't see it in the camera. It's a little piece of what looks like a twig or something. There's also something that looks like a rock. So we're going to take a... Actually, I'll probably just kind of pick it out with something and clean that off and then uh, see if that fixes it. All right, so we uh, put our irrigation head back in. As, as you can see, it's flowing like a champ. Uh, we just raised it up out of the dirt so it's not going to get clogged again. Uh, we've got it secured in there. Um, you know pack it in there real nicely you can see it watering that new uh, transplant the plant really well you got full coverage and it cost us nothing uh, that was free we didn't have to replace the nozzle just cost you a little bit of time just make sure you clean it I don't know how else to say it use that cup of water get a pitcher of water clean it out get the debris out and you'll be flowing again real nice 